decades. Woo! And I've been told that I do a, <coughs> a dead-on impression of Jay Howard. Check it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Jay Howard. I'm from Chicago. I just turned 62 on January 5th. I have two stay-at-home cats. And uh, <laughs> this is my first open mic. Right. Woo! I was uh, finally ready to get myself out of the foot closet, so I uh, pride myself on the closet, and now I feel comfortable enough to be openly Jay in front of you folks. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing is that in preparation for this, uh, you know, I spent months and talked to friends and family uh, about doing this kind of thing, and they said, uh, aren't you going to be kind of uncomfortable and nervous about this? And I said, well, not really. When you consider my track record in music and my attempts at serious dramatic acting, uh, this is one instance where I'm not going to mind being laughed off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not call. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. He knows that you've been sexting. He knows this, that's for sure. He knows if you don't get some help, there will certainly be no cure. <laughs> so you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not call. I'm telling you why. why. Santa's on his cell phone right now. <laughs> Hi, it's Christmas just a few weeks ago. And just a few days, just a, a few days before Christmas, I was shopping at Macy's, listening to the Christmas music, when I, when I heard an interesting lyric. Santa comes once a year. And I thought, Wow, what an unfortunate, clear case of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> My sympathies to Mr. and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Mrs. Claus, uh, I've heard rumors and stories that uh, she is a sensitive person. And not only that, she's, she's got a rather violent temper. And uh, fortunately for Santa Claus, he finally dawned on him and he saw the light and realized that uh, after three trips to the emergency room, it would probably be a good idea not to say ho, ho, ho in front of the missus. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of relationships, I've been going out with this girl uh, for oh, about six, seven months. And uh, I, I was taking a walk from Lincoln Park seven months ago. And, uh, and I saw this striking woman, tall, blonde, a bunch of tattoos, and buxom. And I was dying of curiosity, and I said, I approached her and I said, excuse me, but are those real? And she took this purse about the, the size and weight of a bowling ball and wailed the tar out of me. And I said, lady, I'm not a 10 pin. I was talking about your tattoos. And she said, <laughs> she said oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then she looked down and she said, oh, what a cute little thing. And then I got incensed and I whacked her. And she said, dude, I was talking about your dog. <laughs> now, a clear case of love at first fight. And uh, I think it's safe to say that, uh, that I'm between exes right now. 